Hey guys, doing this is very important. You know, I've got I've had all different types of lip balms and uh, facial lotions and from GNC. This is the Vaseline face and body lotion. See, I'm putting it on my face. Across my upper lip. I'm putting it on my upper lip, you know. Bottom lip or chin, upper lip, face, cheeks, nose, forehead, eyelids, eyebrows. Yeah, right. Yeah, I went that off. But this satellite man's still been burning my face all these years. You know, I've bought GNC facial lo uh, lotion, had the Everman Jack facial lotion, uh, had different Vaseline types of facial lotions. Uh, vitamin shop facial lotions and this satellite man's still burning my face and teeth and they're still burning my my upper lip right here there that's defamation of character that's defacing of a person's identity we need to see which person claims that they're more documented in America than me of who I am and who my parents are and the activity of people that are pretending like they don't know this situation and yet we have to see that you know, which people are punching the clock in reference to which people are on the payroll of my parents' companies that are not doing their job, such as people that are supposed to deliver things to me, and in reference to attorneys or the benefits office, knowing that these people have been holding me hostage, these people have been torturing me, they've been burning my face and teeth. These people are violating the professionalism of business, they're violating the professionalism of the medical industry. <clears throat> They're violating the, they hit me in the throat. They're violating the professionalism of the modeling industry, the photography industry, the cinematography industry. They're violating the Screen Actors Union, the Directors Union, the Writers Union. They're violating the Teamsters. And I don't know if the Teamsters tried to send me anything in the postal mail, didn't receive anything. You know, there should be court cases about the post office. There are people stealing from me. Uh, my mother and father even had it on record that nothing's too good for me. Meaning a reference to my parents paid for things, like anything that I want. See, if my parents was alive, they would have bought me anything. Plus, I have my own career history of the entertainment industry where there's accounts at what? The Screen Actors Union? Don't have access to that either. The trust fund company needs to go into court. That's holding on to my trust funds from my mother and father. Both my parents had trust funds for me. Separate trust funds that my parents had made for me. And in reference to uh, the satellite man still hitting me in the upper lip, you just saw me put the Vaseline on my upper lip right here and across my lip. And the satellite man is still hitting me in the face. They're still burning my teeth. That's a violation of my rights as an American. You're violating my American space, government man. You are a terrorist. You are a racist, government man. You must get prosecuted for your crimes. And in reference to the activity of... Uh, the companies and uh, the documents. The Treasury has the guidelines of what my parents had written. Reverence to what my life was supposed to be, my per diem, what I was supposed to have access to from the companies every day. And expenditures. And these government people are sitting there playing like they thought they'd tie themselves into my mother and father's estates and steal my money. And then they tried to steal sperm. And then they tried to steal my monies and benefits that my parents had set up for me they tried to do this with their their artificial inseminations of children or they they stole sperm and they artificially inseminated their daughters or whatever uh, or they were trying to sell sperm on the internet or they were trying to steal my sperm and they were trying to sell it on the black market mm -mm. those people need to go into court this is a very serious hostage situation they've been then, uh, in reference to the first uh, day that I got off the airplane when they had kidnapped me from California, where's the lawsuit monies in reference to being kidnapped? My mother had procedural documents at the Treasury. Where's the monies? Where's the revenues? Where's the benefits? Where's the lawsuit monies from California? My life's not a pawn. I'm not a pawn for people to be playing games with. I went to college, I got an education. And then these people are trying to call me a nobody. They're blocking me from living my life because their people didn't get an education. And then these people blocked me from my CDL license. 
They blocked me from uh, accounts that my mother and father had set up for me. That's a violation of banker laws. Does anybody know which people are doing that? They're still hitting me in the throat. Does anybody have a clue? Now, this is very serious in reference to the laws and the laws of Elliot Ness. The laws of Elliot Ness are a lot about financial laws, such as services not rendered, embezzlement crimes, people trying to overthrow property, people squatting on property, people blocking me from my mother and father's property, people blocking me from my companies and my mother and father's companies, people blocking me from my career, people blocking me from being in the media. Being on television. The real protocol is always there, but that's there for a reason, too. So nobody would have a right blocking me from movies or television. So nobody would have a right damaging my face. The reason why the real protocol is a, such a blueprint is because I had, you know, of course, it's there for my identification. And my, you know, parents wrote the documents and documented it and were treasury information and United Nations knows the information. And, you know, it's a blueprint of my anatomy. So, you know, these people, plus my father owned the studios and owned media companies. Very important. Plus royal DNA facts and history. But these satellite men are still hitting me right here. They're still, and it's smashed in right here on my face. This is smashed down from them damaging my bones up here on my face. And this side over here is smashed right here. So it's like they smashed my face like this. You know, they smashed it in like this with the satellite. That's physical assault. That's sex crimes. That's hate crimes, too. These people are doing this, claiming they were trying to make me ugly, trying to make me look like a junkie. I've never been a junkie. Never been involved in any junkie activity. Never been involved in drugs, either. What's the time and date of all your activities coming, man? And they have to date back to the first day that these people started burning my face and teeth. And they have to uh, order people into court to figure out why I didn't get compensation. Because you covered it up, right? That makes the lawsuits even larger. That means it's more of a, an, uh, an urgency for me to receive monies. I'm not your toy. I'm not your pawn, man. I have a life to live. That's why there's term limits in government. So politicians can't continue their dictatorship's or their crimes. And they can't keep violating the facts. That's why there's an impeachment process. Impeachment process in America. They just messed with my lips. So government can't continue with their fraud. Or their fleecing of America. Or their activity of trying to steal my mother and father's estates. Or them blocking me from my privileges. There's, there are people trying to play their tricks. My parents even had it on record that every day is supposed to be like Christmas for me. Read the treasury documents. That means that nobody can criticize me receiving gifts or monies. Nobody has a right stealing gifts or monies that people tried to send to me. I'm supposed to have the key to certain cities in America. And there's benefits that I was supposed to have in reference to that. Haven't received no letters, haven't received any information. And New York, how you guys doing? No, I haven't received nothing from New York either. I put the lotion on my face, putting it on my face again. These extremists are still violating my life. See that? I put lotion on my face. They're still hitting me in the teeth. I use Listerine and Scope Crest toothpaste. And I got a charcoal toothbrush. I use charcoal body wash. And Tresemme, how you guys doing? And Revlon, I even got a Revlon hair dryer, and that satellite man is still burning my mouth. This is attempted murder every single day against the government. And the fact that the benefit office is covering up this situation, I don't know. And somebody, you know, somebody said that one of the offices in Indiana was possibly holding on to a hundred million dollars of money from my mother. I don't know if the unemployment office knows which office is holding on to a hundred million dollars. But I guess my mother had a meeting with the unemployment office in Indianapolis back in the 80s. And I don't know if the unemployment office knows anything about that. Or if, you know, if they know which people are holding on to that $100 million or something. 
See, I'm the only child of my mother and father, and my mother was a widow when the government had murdered my father. And there are lawsuits in reference to the government attacking me and my mother when my mother was a widow and when my mother was married. And the fact that the government ever did anything attacking me or my mother or father at any time ever. And the government trespassing on property. The government violating my rights. This is the Vaseline uh, body, face, and and hands, body, face, and hands, uh, lotion, and uh, this is the lip balm, Maybelline lip balm. Mm -hmm. Now this is. You know, hostage crimes of government and labor crimes in reference to every... Where, how come the labor union has not paid me nothing? The labor union knows they were burning me with satellites on every job. And don't forget, I've worked on jobs. And most people will say I'm a decent worker. 